So could you tell me about what do you think about the relation with, between Greenland and Denmark or just not like as a country but people to people? Mm, to people to people. All right. Um, yeah. To sh to share it sh shortly, uh, people can have like Greenlanders can have quite um, conflicting ideas about the Danish people. It might be it might be because of the history mm -hmm. where Greenland became a colony, and um, and to be honest, uh, in the recent months, like uh, like about the word. Um, Condensive, condensive. It it became um, a word in one of the dictionaries in a specific in a specific dictionary uh, what is it, website or something in Denmark, where it's quite derogatory meaning. It it has a derogatory meaning because um, like a Greenlander fall, like a drunken Greenlander fall. Okay. So it's kind of racist in a way okay and uh, and it it, uh, it it had a huge reaction among Greenlanders where it was a negative uh, uh, reaction towards uh, the Danish people or even Denmark itself um, but for me I, I don't hate on um, the Danish people I work with Danish people um, uh, in tourism or in in uh, you know, publishing companies, right? And it only depends on the person how they act uh, to me. Mm -hmm. um, but I know of a lot of Greenlanders who um, who uses strong language towards the, the, the Danish people who, who aren't even listening um, sometimes um, by using not very kind words to one another. It's it also works in that on this. It also works. <clears throat> well, I can only speak on Greenlanders right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that's how things are, and they have been um, sort of information about it. Yes. Yeah. Same like uh, I just told you about Hong Kong uh, lady, <laughs> mm. and she just like uh, was also impressed that you have like a hot water and <laughs> yeah. phones and that kind of stuff and mm -hmm. she explained that in the, her school it was like a 10 12 years ago maybe mm -hmm. further uh, in the books like she had the picture igloo sm small eskimo yeah. <laughs> fishing <laughs> in the hole in the ice next to like a polar bear and mm -hmm. she that was like what she thinking mm -hmm. that's how it is now Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I get that question a lot as well, yes. and and the reason why also people from here that their point of view towards the Danish people can be also quite um, let's say disturbing in a way mm -hmm. because they don't have a huge uh, they don't have uh, knowledge about the history of Greenland mm -hmm. or how things are uh, in modern times. So one of the um, Triggers um, can be that, yeah. Mm. yeah. So, uh, how do you finding uh, this like a saying, a saying the word Eskimo? Mm -hmm. Oh, the Eskimo. I don't find it um, disturbing or derogatory. Yeah, because some yeah. some some people can yeah, uh, can be offended. Yeah, I've heard about that. It's very offensive in Can Canada. Canada. Uh, yeah. Okay. But here. It's uh, it's a lot easier to explain yourself as an Eskimo instead of Inuit or Galadag. Like if uh, when I was saying um, that I'm Inuit or Galadag for half a year, half, for the first half a year when I was staying in America, mm -hmm. they don't they were like ah oh, okay. Yeah. They didn't get yeah, it. Yeah, they didn't get it. I didn't know. But uh, after that, I was saying, I was just saying, okay, oh, I'm an Eskimo, and there was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> really? the same people. Do you, you know? live in Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's where the question came along. And uh, but it's uh, it's uh, it's a lot easier to describe yourself as Eskimo. Um, it's um, yeah, just like that. Um, so you kind of get the idea of who you are, you know. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, quite explanatory as well. So I don't find it offensive or 
as a bad word, but I know that um, it, it's quite the derogatory in Canada. Canada. Yeah. So like uh, people in Europe are like uh, <laughs> crying a lot about seals. Mm. And how do you feel about that? Because it's uh, like your normal thing. It's your mm -hmm. life. So it's part of your culture. So what you can share with people in the Europe about seals? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It's... Uh... Let me think about the word. I can't remember how to pronounce it in English right now. Um, uh, seals are not in, in, in endangered species, right? Okay, yeah. And uh, we, I love the meat. It's actually my favorite Greenlandic traditional food. Uh, it might be also because I was born in Nubunli, which is like the mun back then when it was a municipality, the local is seals. Um, in a circle and on the middle is the sun right? so the seals are quite important for me and my mom used to make the, uh, the jackets so so she can keep me warm and safe mm -hmm. because it's very cold up north um, like it can reach up to um, as my grandpa as I was talking to my grandpa um, a couple of months ago it's reaches up to minus 40 degrees so it's really cool right now. And um, no, no, like a couple of months ago, <laughs> okay. I was just uh, okay, yeah. imitating my cra okay. uh, grandpa <laughs> in English. Okay. Um, so seals, uh, I, <laughs> it's, uh, they tasty. <laughs> and I, I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I get the idea that some people in Europe or somewhere around outside Greenland um, or outside the Inuit people uh, can find it uh, difficult to accept because they consider them as cute because some of, them, some of the animals can be quite cute as well uh, but it's very dependable and it's uh, very nutritious as I've shown you on the presentation yeah. and, uh, that's where the uh, the food uh, food source come from. Also here in Greenland, so it's very important to us. Um, yeah, those are the examples that I can only use right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.